Okay, hello guys so this is the Zenfone Max Pro M1 and in this video I will show you how to flash custom recovery and also flash custom ROM Android 13 on this phone okay we're going to use the pixel experience and all the files and step I will provide in my blog the link you can check in the description box if you have any question you can always ask in the comment section okay for the review i will make in the part two section so stay tuned and check it out okay, hello guys assalamualaikum we'll meet again with ombop this time we have an old asus phone this is the zen phone max pro m1 and today we're going to flash a custom recovery and also flash a custom rom in this one okay as you know this one uh has not been receiving update okay so it's stuck on android 9 you can see right here so we're going to try to revive this one or revamp this one using android 10 uh, sorry android 13 okay so as usual check the exciting system make sure you have the latest from our update you can see right here it is the android 9 update okay and nothing special this is uh exactly same like the previous tutorial before i have made the video how to flash android 12 and basically it's the same i'm just going to show you anyway maybe some of you guys will need it okay <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is to unlock bootloader the pond unlock bootloader is straightforward there is no official Unlock bootloader for this one because it has been stopped, so we have to use the unofficial way. Okay, and next step, let's turn off the phone and we want to go to the Facebook mode. Facebook mode then be accessed by pressing the follow up and the power key at the same time. Okay, <clears throat> if in Xiaomi you're using the follow down and power button, in Asus we're going to use the follow up and power button. Okay, press the two button and release the power button when the Asus logo appear like this. Uh, it means that we are in the aspect mode. Okay, so this is all the step, and this is the file that we needed. I will put all the file and the step in my blog. You can check the link in the description box. Okay so for the first step we need to unlock bootloader so let's open the unlock folder right here and select the empty menu and right click okay then you can open the unlock cmd of course you can always click this one but if we have an error message we can check the message in here Okay, it will erase the data. Make sure you already unlock. Uh, sorry, already backup the file. You can see right here. Boot under is unlocked. Blah 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 blah. Press any key to continue. Okay, so we have unlocked the boulder in one second. <laughs> and the next step is we want to press the custom recovery. So we want to force the pawn to boot it again into the boot mode okay now press the volume up and power button again okay we're going to force the pawn because uh, we don't want to wait to the home screen and <clears throat> here we go now we are in the press boot again now let's flash the custom recovery it's like usual there is nothing strange about the comment okay let's copy this one 
open the cmd and we're going to use the orange box right here just click and drag the file and then we need to go to the recovery manual way okay so recovery can be accessed by pressing the volume down and power button release the power button when the asus logo appear okay let's try it volume down power button still press the both of the button and when the logo asus appear uh, release the uh, power button but still press the volume down and now we are in the custom recovery okay the first thing we want to do is back up the email if there is something wrong we can always restore it one okay go to the backup menu right here new backup select this menu enable compression for smaller size go back and let's pick up the EFS and modem firmware okay just in case there's something wrong we can restore it okay swipe it <clears throat> then after it finish we need to wipe the Delphi cast and other stuff go back select this menu the wipe menu right here select the Delphi cast and data okay swipe it done now let's switch to the computer to the PC okay so this is our internal storage and let's copy this backup file put it in a safe place okay it's always good idea to copy the file into the Mac SD or your computer okay and <clears throat> this is our custom ROM you can always copy the file into the internal storage or using the ADB site load okay let's uh, let's use the ADB site load let's switch the screen go back and select this menu where is it mm. Maybe be set load swipe it okay then switch again open the cmd and type adb space site load and your custom rom okay it will start the process the size is about 1.6 gigabyte and it's already already included gaps so you don't have to install gaps again okay so it takes time and i will skip this one done now let's hit the home button and select the web menu go to the format tab and tap yes okay it's always a good idea to format after we finish uh, where is it? Uh, tap yes. Okay, and hit reboot system. And here we're going to wait until it's shown as the pixel experience boot logo. Uh, okay, the process before it it takes about just one uh one one two one or two minutes to flash the custom ROM. Okay, so it doesn't take time. And here we go. Now we can see the boot logo. It means that we have successfully flashed the pixel. Now we are in the welcome screen. Okay, you can always change the language if you want if you want to. And just need next next until it's and this is our pawn using the new OS. Okay. So now our Zenpon Max Pro M1 has been revived. It's using the Android 13. You can see right here. Okay, that's all guys.
I hope it helps you. If you find it helpful, you can always give it a thumb. Uh, I I don't. I will not make a quick review about this ROM. Maybe in the next video. Okay, so take care and see you in the next video. And I hope you like my video. If you find it very useful, please give it a thumb. And I also have lots of video about routing, custom ROM, and lots of fun. Okay, especially Xiaomi, Samsung, Realme, Asus, and other stuff. Okay, uh, you can find in my video. Maybe some of the video will be useful for you. Okay, guys, if you subscribe, it will make me excited to make a new video. And that's all. Stay self, stay safe, stay health, and wassalamualaikum.